That's right, Tiffany. Neighbors here still in shock in the 600 block of Mercury Street after what happened yesterday. Now, as you can tell, the crime scene tape has now disappeared, and even the rain is washing away the last bits of blood splattered on that fence. Deputies say they were called out to the scene just after 8 p.m. last night in response to an altercation. They arrived to find a man lying in a pool of blood, dead outside this home, with another man pacing up and down the driveway with a machete. The sheriff's office says while one deputy he went to grab a stun gun. The other deputy was trying to ask the man with the machete to put the knife down. Instead, Sheriff Rick Bradshaw says the man turned and charged the deputy, which is when the deputy fired. That suspect fell in the front yard and died. You know, my dog, my pit bull, he was barking real bad. He had heard, I guess, uh, stuff going on down there. So I, I walked outside and seen it, and I, and I took him back in the house and um, come back out here. And um, I didn't want to walk down, you know, and interfere with nothing. And Carol says the scene out here was extremely crowded. Another woman also injured by the machete underwent surgery last night, but she is expected to be okay. Right now, deputies still trying to find a motive what may have caused this violence last night. Deputies have confirmed the man with the machete lived across the street from the victim, but he has not confirmed just what their relationship was beyond that. The sheriff's office is expected to release names later this afternoon. Live in West Palm Beach, Sonica Dange, WPBS 25 News.